welcome to Kanpai Planet. I'm Mac. I've lived in Japan for 15 years and I'm about to embark on one of the biggest adventures of my life. I'm going to spend one week making Japanese sake and I'm doing it on one of the most magical islands in the Japanese archipelago, Sado. Join me on this special journey into the heart of Japanese culture. All the action over the next week takes place here, in Nishimikawa, in the southwest of Sado Island, at Gakogura. Gako means school, and Kura means brewery. Gakogura is in an absolutely incredible location. Look at this. In 2014, Obata Shuzo converted this 136-year-old primary school building into their second sake brewery. And they certainly know a thing or two about fine sake because they've been making it since 1892. The school still has its huge gymnasium and kids' drawings of Sado's famous toki bird on the walls. But now one end is pimped out with everything needed for the school's new students to get hands-on experience making their own boutique sake. I'm honored to be talking to Rumiko Obata, the fifth generation Kuramoto of Obata Shuzo. What is it that you really hope that people get out of the one week that they spend at the Gakogura?え、住んでる人のこと、え、Brewing happiness. Isn't that what we all want? One week making Japanese sake. It begins here. Over seven action packed episodes, shoulder to shoulder with the Kurabito, brewing sake with rice, koji, yeast, and water. Washoi. See why I did that? and all on one of Japan's most stunning islands. Absolutely amazing. It's a lot thicker. I love to eat rice. Number one. Join me each day to get the inside scoop and see how we go making our own boutique sake at Gakogura. Bye-bye! Nice. I want to be a toji one day. <laughs>